Hello everyone. Let's learn math together with Dr. Math. We all know that there is a quadratic formula to solve quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 where a, b, c are some real numbers such that a is not equal to 0 and x is variable here and the quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a well this formula looks little complicated but how to arrive at this formula x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a without wasting much time let's learn the proof so ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 is the standard form of quadratic equation a is the coefficient of x square b is coefficient of x and c is constant here ax square may not be a perfect square just to make it a perfect square what i'll do is i'll just multiply it by a throughout so if i multiply the entire equation by a what do i get i get a square x square a b x a c equals 0 next step is to shift this a c to the right hand side so I get a square x square plus a b x equals minus a c now a square x square is a perfect square I will write it as a x the whole square then a b x i will do a small adjustment i will write it as 2 a x into b by 2 no problem right which is equal to minus a c now this looks like square of a number plus two times a number the same number and one more number it looks like a square plus 2 a b I think you can recall a plus b the whole square now so what is a plus b the whole square it is a square plus 2 a b plus b square right but this looks like a square plus 2 a b so what is missing b square is missing what is b here it's b by 2 so square of this number is missing let's add b by 2 the whole square on both side in the next step so adding adding b by 2 the whole square on both sides so the next step will be ax the whole square plus 2 ax into b by 2 let me give you let me give little space and write minus ac now i have to add b by 2 the whole square on both sides so let me add b by 2 the whole square on both sides so this looks like x square plus 2 xy plus y square which is the expansion of x plus y the whole square right so the lhs can be written as ax plus b by 2 the whole square that is equal to minus ac plus b square by 4 so we got this result ax plus b by 2 the whole square equals minus ac plus b square by 4 so let's take lcm on the rhs so if i take lcm that is 4 so in the numerator i get minus 4 ac plus b square and lhs still remain as ax plus b by 2 the whole square now if I shift the square on the right hand side, square becomes square root. So ax plus b by 2 will be equal to square root of minus 4ac plus b square by 4. But you know that when you take square root of a number, for example square root of 9 can be written as 
plus or minus 3. Same way, we will write ax plus b by 2 as plus or minus root of, I'll just rearrange the terms, I'll write it as b square minus 4ac divided by 2. So in the next step, we'll st shift this b by 2 to the right hand side. So ax equals minus b by 2 plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2. So let me just write it as x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is how we get quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is how we derive quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. I hope that was easy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.